<laughs> have fun riding, buddy. I never have fun, as a rule. See ya. You happy now? I'm never happy. Alrighty. Welcome back, Kenny and everybody. This is Lin and Otter here to do another episode of Burrows. I'll figure that uh, title later, or the title reading later. Uh, yeah, this one's been overdue. I'm looking forward to it. Very early in the morning, let's get started. Oh, never mind. It's late at night. <laughs> yeah, that freak's probably getting railed by Frank right now. Probably got him drunk enough that he won't notice John's little secret. Or the fact that my timer isn't on. There we go. Part of me is jealous. What? <laughs> but I already got over my straight guy phase. No dick is worth dying for. Oh my gosh, what the heck? I learned a lot about him right now. Ugh, and Ken. Did he really get hot and bothered watching me and Colt kiss? Or did I misread the whole situation? Is Ken actually gay? Is that why he's so outwardly homophobic to put up a front? Oh, is that why he's so outwardly homophobic? To put up to put up a front? And if that's true, what are the odds of Colt and Jesse also being gay? <laughs> what are the odds? I'd say very high, my friend. You know what? I don't know. I've never had great gaydar. Where are all these attractive queers back home? <laughs> That's not fair. <sighs> but if the agent was telling the truth, none of this is real anyway. Maybe Virgil is just trying to entice me. I don't want to believe what he said. I'll have to talk to him again. Tomorrow. Oh. I think about it often. Every time we go down by the lake, I don't know what voice I'm supposed to be doing. The transition from rocks, dirt, and grass into tiny grains of sand. Millions and millions of particles slowly becoming new terrain. I would always stop in my tracks when it felt like I was standing at the when I felt like I was standing at the threshold between two spaces. The two spaces. Dreading into new territory frightened me. I remembered everything they told me. Thresholds are very powerful. Sacred even. The final resting place before I'd be thrust into the sea. What is this? The waves will pull me in and the pressure will break my body down until I'm reduced to nothing. And then, I'll return to the beach as grains of sand, my very being now forming the bedrock of this world. So instead, I stay in between where it's safe. Man, kind of cut, kind of cutting deep there too. Even if people are scared of me, Virgil. Because no matter how painful this kind of existence is, I'm too scared of what's waiting for me beneath those dark waves to go further. What is that? Something standing at the edge of the water. Too bright to tell, but I, I think it's a person. Its head turns. To, its head turns in time with mine. Now these thoughts, they aren't my own. What in the? I wake up, my head resting against something firm. <laughs> Just for no reason. Oh. Uh. Uh. Um. <clears throat> 
Hello, Hello there. there. Morning. Ooh, what? No one told me this. We're getting into Route 3. Ooh, buddy. I sit up. A creak in my neck sends a shiver up my spine. Hmm. Oh, you're up early. Or is it actually the afternoon? He mouths a spoonful of cereal. Peeks his fly from his mouth as he replies to me. Jeez. <laughs> no, it's <clears throat> no, it's morning. I guess we're on our <clears throat> your schedule now. He says that last part with an accusatory tone. You mean a normal sleep cycle? Oh, how cruel of me. Mm. And why did you have to sit there, sit here to eat breakfast when there's two other sofas? I don't know. This one had the comfiest looking rug on it. Eh, kind of dirty, though. Oh, jeez. He, sp he spreads his legs to bump my head with his knee again and giggles. <laughs> What's this little playful little panther trying to get at? Besides, I was hoping you'd get up soon. Well, we have some serious stuff to go over. I sit up, rubbing my neck and smacking my lips. The smell of coffee wafting over from the kitchen is starting to wet my appetite. <sighs> Where's Colt and Jesse? Oh, the oily boys? They went downstairs to eat breakfast. I guess they didn't like what was in the pantry. Meanwhile, I've trained myself to be able to subsist only on, on only a cup of water and hardtack, so I'm happy to just have cereal. Where did you get milk? Oh, you don't want to know. Uh, oh, <laughs> don't worry about it. Oh, that's a new post. I'm going to worry about it. <laughs> Anyway, if you want some, there's more in the kitchen. Or you can go eat with those storks in the dining hall. <laughs> those storks? <laughs> His name should be Kevin. Either way, I have to stay here. Ah, yeah. There's still two days left until your back is repaired, right? Yeah, not to mention the apparent wanted posters of my mug all over town. You sure you won't go stir crazy all by yourself? I'm used to being alone, remember? Besides, I need time to organize all my theories about what's happening. He speaks in a flat tone, almost having to justify it to himself. I feel a little bad letting him stew all on his own. My stomach starts growling. Last night's meal already a distant memory. Uh-oh, I think we're going to have a choice already. Oh no! What should I do with the morning? No, stop. No, stop making me make decisions. Make decisions for me, please. Um, shoot. Um, 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 crap in a bucket. I, okay, um, I stuck with Ken last time. I'm kind of just, like I said, I, I, I'm scared that this story is eventually going to lead to some kind of crossroads where, I don't know, I mean, where Ken or Colt slash Jesse and or Jesse are going to be in danger. And, you know, I'm going to have to make a decision and how I bonded with them. Or, you know, like, this is how these games work, I'm sure. Uh, very telltale-esque. And I, I, it's driving me nuts. This kind of anxiety. You, you, no, you guys don't know how much I struggle with decision-making. These games are rough. Buddy. Okay. Um, but I don't want to bore you guys with my, you know, mulling about. So let's just try to be logical here. I really don't want to leave Ken by himself. Ah. Uh, Colt and Jesse are going to be okay. They have each other. I kind of stuck with... Oh, man. What do I do? Although he did say we have some serious stuff to talk about, and I think it's important. Um, Look, I just don't think we should leave Ken alone. I, I'm here for him. That The whole reason this entire story started is because I wanted to go and save Ken. I'm not going to just keep abandoning him. Uh, I'll have if I'm given an option between you know spending time with Colton Jesse later I'll I'll go with that. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. What are you What are you still doing here? Ah, eh, eh, cereal sounds good. Besides, there's stuff we need to talk about without Jesse and Colt around. Hmm. I like the way you think. Oh, finally he's happy. Oh, I'm so relieved. 
By the way, there is no milk. I used water. Eh, yuck! What kind of creature are you? Can! What the f***? Uh, I had to make do. What's the problem? Ah, this is by far the most insane thing I've seen you do. Ah, shut up. Ah, I can go. I can go get us a carton of milk. Just please promise me you'll never do that again. It tastes fine. Just try it. <laughs> this is very food wars. Asks if you don't believe me, try it yourself. He shoves the bowl of sludge my way and I crawl to the other side of the couch. <laughs> oh my god, stop! I I'm going to... <laughs> he laughs at my outburst. Seriously, even college students eat a better diet than him. <laughs> That's true. But I kind of want to see that picture again. I like seeing him angry. Well, I know, but it's good for, uh, you know. Although maybe I just don't do it. That's right. Aww, at least he's laughing. That's cute. <sighs> I'll eat it dry. What kind do they have? Cocoa Puffs. Off-brand, generic kind, of course. Huh? Never heard of a chocolate cereal before. We usually had cornflakes. <laughs> Stop being so 50s gray. What? Are you challenged? Couldn't be trusted with sugar? Uh, breakfast is supposed to be healthy, right? He scoffs, patting his abs proudly. <laughs> breakfast is breakfast is just packing enough in enough salt, sugar, and fat to get you through the morning without passing out. Nothing about it is healthy. But Mammy always said Look, do you eat to live or live to eat? Uh, I've honestly never thought about it before. Why does Ken know so much about nutrition if he eats like shit anyway? I guess I eat to live. I never knew where my next meal would come from, so I'm happy with whatever. <laughs> Bingo. Struggle is the key to growth, baby. Having everything handed to you just makes you fat and lazy. And if you'd stayed rich, you'd be a possum colored ball of lard right now. Especially eating southern home cooking every day. Now, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I could pull it off. He gives me a once over and shrugs. <laughs> pull off what? Your pants? Unlikely fatty. Jeez, what a jerk. I shrug off his comments and pour myself a bone-dry bowl of cereal. The chocolate flavor is nice, though slightly artificial tasting. Hey, it says here that it turns the milk chocolatey. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Didn't work with mine. Jeez. Ah, shut up. We silently eat our unhealthy breakfast together. I can tell Ken isn't used to being awake this early from his slow movements. Maybe he's cold-blooded after all. That usual aura of malice surrounding him seems to be at bay for now. Either he's too tired to put up a front, or he's actually warmed up to me. I clear my throat, trying to initiate an, any sort of conversation. So, how'd you sleep? Sleep? Oh, uh, pretty well, I'd say. You know, the couch is surprisingly comfortable. He bounces on, he bounces on it a few times and nods. Yeah. Nicer than my bed. For how expensive this room was, you'd think the mattress would be thicker. Eh, maybe you're just too bulky for a normal mattress. He grins. He grins, flexing his biceps for me. <laughs> True. Though, I'd rather hear that from a chick. Any dreams? Uh, yeah, sort of. It was a weird one. Well, <laughs> lay it on me. I scratch my head. Trying to recall the already fading scene. Mm. I was walking on a beach. Someone was talking about turning into grains of sand. It was kind of morbid, to be honest. Excuse me. 
It didn't feel like it was me, though. I felt like I was watching someone else's dream. Can? I jump as his spoon clatters to the ground. His eyes are wide and unblinking. Can? How did you? He shakes away something, batting at his head with his palm with like a feral animal. Oh no. No. <laughs> it's not your fault. I try to get close, but he moves away. Ears flat against his head in shame. Aw. Stop. Tell me what's happening. I won't touch you. Sorry. You said we had a lot to talk about, yeah. Let's start talking. I nod, unsure of what he's getting at. He turns to face me on his knees, looking downward like a scorned child. Right. So, um, we were talking about magic and crap the other day. I thought that was cool. I couldn't really tell if you were being honest with me or if you were just, I don't know, scared of me. I wouldn't blame you. I was definitely scared, but I told you the truth. I've had some strange experiences that can't be explained otherwise. Good. Keep that attitude going into this. <sighs> he takes a deep breath and exhales through his nose. I can tell this is taking a toll on him. S sometimes when people touch me, they see things. What kind of things? <laughs> what kind of things? Sorry, this is serious. Images, words, memories, dreams. It takes me a second to register what he's saying. He rolls his eyes and tries to explain it more clearly. It's like whatever I'm thinking leaks out of my head. And if people get too close, they can hear it. Private stuff. So that stuff in your dream was probably because you were resting on my leg. Sorry. But we've touched before, haven't we? What about when I was riding on your bike? He shakes his, he shakes his head and points to his chest. What? It doesn't work through clothes. It has to be skin to skin, fur to fur. Doesn't come up too often for me. So, I was seeing your thoughts? Your dreams? He sighs and gets up, going into the bedroom to grab something. He comes back with his journal, flipping through his pages until he finds what he's looking for. Look, I wrote this last night before I went to sleep. Sound familiar? I scan it over. It's more or less the same as the voice that was speaking to me in that dream. Only more than the sass. Oh wow, this is kind of cool. Wait, is this a poem? You got poetry? Uh, can you focus on the points? F anyway, uh, this is one of the reasons I don't like getting too friendly with folks. It usually freaks people out when it happens. What? That'd be cool. I mean, it really sucks for your sense of privacy, but... And then, sometimes I lose those memories after people see them. They get stolen from me. Oh, wow. Aww. I know it sounds crazy, but... Oh, he, hold, he holds his knees against his chest, curled up in a defensive ball. Ken, stop. It's okay. No, I believe you, Ken. It's actually kind of similar to something a friend of mine went through. Wait, really? Yeah, she... I briefly consider if it's my place to talk about Simone's business to a stranger, but I need to reassure him. My ex, uh, Simone... She had sort of the opposite problem. She could feel everyone else's thoughts and desires, even when she didn't want to. Wait, you actually dated a woman? No sh Anyway. <laughs> Hold on, let me get a picture of that face there. <laughs> anyway, everyone around her thought she was crazy, so she found a way to suppress it. The last we talked, she wasn't dealing with it anymore. Did she ever tell you how she got rid of it? Well, no. 
Nothing, nothing at all? Timer, no. <laughs> Bad timing. Well, I mean, it's normal timing, but we'll keep this going. He reaches to grab me, but hesitates, dropping his hand on his lap instead. No, uh, she was really private about that stuff. And, uh, I sort of lost the privilege to ask her about it. Oh. Oh. You messed up, huh? You have no idea. I feel a little melancholy all of a sudden. He notices and drops the subject. Still, um, uh, still, I'm sorry you have to go through that, Ken. I'm just glad you didn't see anything really embarrassing. Though if I'd forgotten it, I guess it wouldn't really matter. Hey, they're your memories. Of course they matter. Even the bad ones. The ones that keep you up at night. If you forgot them, you'd make the same mistakes all over again. You would forget what makes you, you. And that's why I used to... And I stop myself, and he, uh, and he nods. <sighs> yeah, I get why people do what they do. We're all running from something. I want to stop running. I thought maybe saving you would... My voice tra trails off, and we sit in silence for a while. Hey, uh... <laughs> about the other night. Hmm? I, I know what you're I know what you're thinking and yeah, it was stupid to ask you to hold me that night. I don't I don't know what possessed me. Maybe I was just so shocked by how much you trusted me that I opened up too fast. I wasn't thinking about the risks. I nod. I don't really have anything more to say about that night. Doesn't make up for what happened though. I still feel terrible about it. Even if you did... I'm trying to move past it. Just uh, stop bringing it up, okay? Deal. Well, I shared something f***ed up. <laughs> Your turn. Are we having a contest or something? Sheesh. I racked my brain and try to think of anything we haven't covered yet. Hmm... Well, speaking of dreams, there was something that happened when I was a kid. I would keep having the same dream over and over, but every night it would pick up from where the last one left off. Huh, like a continuous narrative? Yeah, I called him Bo, Re Bo Reeves back then. <laughs> Bo, uh, uh, who's it? Oh, right. <laughs> Y'all are fluent and coward down in the bayou. Y'all are fluent and coward down in the bayou. Oh, wow. Anyway, they were fun for a while, but suddenly stopped one day. I used to have those too. The day I found out my friend Sam had died. Not died. Killed himself. Yeah, same difference. He's gone. That voice in my head. Oh, do you think it was connected somehow? I shake my head. I've never talked to Sam about magic before. No, but I always had a suspicion that those dreams were like were more like memories. Kind of like what happened last night with your riding showing up in my head. Only those dreams were more like someone reminiscing about their past. There were so many people who would greet me by my name, but I can't remember what it was. Huh. Wait a second. We would go on adventures together, do impossible things, fight horrible creatures. Still sounds like a kid's dream if you ask me. Yeah, there was some stuff in there that a kid wouldn't know about. And I miss him so. Can cocks his head in confusion and I shake off the awkward subject. Maybe whatever's in me stopped wanting to remember after Sam was gone. I didn't feel like I deserved to be happy, even in my dreams. There was a promise. Something I broke, but I can't remember what. We were just kids, and, and I, I, I noticed my fa face is wet with tears and bolt them with my sleeve, blot them with my sleeve. Oh no. Ken looks genuinely concerned. I don't like putting my baggage on the people. Let's stop for now. I don't think there's much to be gained by digging up our old dirt. Yeah. Thanks for telling me that. 
it actually gave me some new insight on something I was working on. Really? Uh, oops. What the heck? Really? Well, what do you... He grabs his journal and trots back over to the bedroom. Can't, can't say. Right. Hey, I'm going to write for a bit. I can't get these new ideas out of my head. <laughs> oh, he's beaming at me. This is a rare sighting. I got to take a mental snapshot. Sure, let's do it together. <laughs> Click. Huh? <laughs> Stop being weird. <laughs> have fun riding, buddy. I never have fun, as a rule. See ya. You happy now? I'm never happy. Ah, oh, what a goofball. I'm glad he's in high spirits after that conversation. Maybe he's more jaded than I am. I can't just bounce back after spilling my guts like that. I collapse back onto the couch and try to wipe away the rest of those pesky tears. I don't want him to think I'm weak forever. That goes for Virgil, too. Uh, what does Ken think of me now? I wonder. Oh, A friend? A nuisance? A partner in crime? I can tell he's trying to be better for my sake. Didn't I follow him for the same reason? I check the clock and see it's almost noon. Seems we spent the entire morning talking. It was nice to get that off my chest after so long. Simone was the only one I could ever talk to about that stuff. I imagine that... The image of that white skunk pops into my brain again and I shake it away. Yeah. I sit up. I can't lay here all day letting intrusive thoughts get to me. It's weird having, it's weird having so much free time. Not that I want it, but shouldn't Virgil be pushing me along by now? He hasn't shown up since our first meeting. Is he just watching from the shadows? Watching me struggle to understand his game? Probably. But, reflections on thresholds. I think about it often. Every time we go down by the lake in the summertime, the transition from rocks, dirt, and grass into the tiny... Oh, I would always stop in my chair. Oh, I see. What? I'm too scared of what's waiting for me beneath those dark waves to go further. My family would yell and wait for me to come into the water. They'd try to seduce me with food and laughter to leave my safe zone. But I knew that once I stepped onto that hot sand that there'd be no going back. As long as I stay here, nothing can continue. Nobody will and won't get hurt. Nothing scary can and can't happen. Yes, this is for the best. They'll thank me later. Wow. Insight into Ken. A lot of insight into Ken. Oh, poor guy is so messed up. Ah, but at least we got to know him a little bit better, and I hope that was the right decision. I'm trying to make everybody in this story have a, you know, a happy ending. I don't know what's in store for us. But thank you guys. Excuse me. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to call it here for now and get on to some recording of some other episodes. Maybe even a new episode of a new uh, visual novel. You'll see uh, probably later this week. But um, yeah, thanks again. Uh, hope you guys have a good night, a good evening, a good afternoon, morning, <laughs> whatever it is for you. Uh, any likes and comments on these videos, I really appreciate them, especially, especially any suggestions of other uh, games you might want me to play. But in the meantime, that's it for now. Uh, hope you guys take care, and we'll see you next time. Oops. Uh, <laughs> ah. <laughs> Bye now. Yes, Ken? So what you're saying is you're a dork? <laughs> <laughs>